hello welcome to my channel uh, Renzo here okay let's paint the colors are titanium white yellow ochre cadmium red hue permanent alizarin crimson and ivy black if i need any of the color i'm just going to add the color hello Ra. hello fiona hello moonlight hello mervat okay let's see let me see the position of the whole head the face okay i'm gonna start mixing just two values yellow ochre coming red white and just a little bit of black okay this one's gonna be for the lights now here the same yellow ochre red black white this one is gonna be for the shadows okay now let's see have the face here let me just start doing this I'm squinting down my eyes and trying to just paint the shadow area okay I see it's kind of mm, too orangey that means that I need more white more black a little bit of yellow ochre okay here's one eye the nose the mouth okay, the ear around here and the hair up here okay now with the other color I'm going to paint the light the lit area let's see I think this color is just too orangey let me think mm. okay I think it's okay let's continue Here's gonna be one eye, the other eye is gonna be around here. Okay, establishing just here lights and shadows and kind of uh, they form the shape of the face okay more yellow care more red black and white okay I know remember the idea is just to get lights and shadow but this color has to be kind of a greenish brownish color because I'm gonna uh, I'm planning to add more color on top of this Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of medium. So medium, I use uh, alizarin cream. Uh, sorry, <laughs> linseed oil and turpentine, half and half.
Okay. Hello, Manuel. Hello, Art of Dan. Hello, Brian. Shilu, Shish, Shiyuli. How do you make this background? Uh, with acrylic. Hello, Michael. Hello, Tisha. Just acrylic. Very transparent. I'm not using too much paint, that's why it's, you can hear the sound of my brush against the canvas. soft okay now let's draw I have something here you squint down your eyes you kind of see a face yes I mean obviously I just trying to respect the measurements of the face always Try to keep always that in mind, the proportion of the face. Okay. I don't. Uh, I give him me some space to add more lights and shadows. You see, this is darker in the the photo reference. I don't get to that dark because obviously this contour of the face uh, usually is the mm, difficult part. Uh, usually, I, I I end up adjusting this a little bit to. A little bit thin, a little bit, I mean, always the width of the face for some reason is uh, the difficult part for me. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up a brush number zero. And now that I have here like an, an, a ghosty image about the face, I'm going to draw on top of this. Okay, think about this as a pencil. And now, I mean, I'm gonna respect that. I'm gonna have one eye here, one eye here, nose and mouth. Okay, let's see the angle of the eyes. And let's measure the distance between one eye and the other eye. If you, you, if you want, you can use your brush and measure like this, or make it just visually. It's up to you. Hello, Monique. Uh, she, she, you, yes, it's a really primed canvas. I mean, I, I primed the canvas with gesso, it's just the last layer is with acrylic, just for the gray color. Brian is asking me about the colors it's titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium red hue, permanent alizarin crimson, and ivory black. Hello, Dita. Hello, Nicola. Now let's say one eye is going to be around here, brow, brow, okay the nose around here, okay. Now watching the image to get the position of the nose and using this I'm just trying to imagine here the contour of the eye and making a line here from the other eye, okay. I think you already know this, that's what I do always. If it's a drawing, a painting, or anything, I always use this because I'm really worried about this area. Okay. At the end, if uh, I make a mistake here, 
just this can move everything but here's gonna be different the mouth I can make it the mouth up or down let's say that that's gonna be easier to move eh? now here I have a face uh, this is still a kind of ghosty image but I can see a little bit more of the eyes the nose and the mouth okay I'm gonna change my brushes and I'm gonna add more shadows I'm gonna make the shadows a little bit darker we don't have too many options it's always about mixing red and yellow ochre and adding black and white okay when you work with a limit a limited palette like this uh, this is kind of the, the summer palette plus Alisa and Crimson I don't use Alisa and Crimson that much mostly for the nose, for the nostrils and for the mouth because uh, I love the deep dark red that I can get with Alisa and Crimson which is different from using just Camion Red trying to control this shadow I think it's dark enough I mean obviously I'm just using one color for all the shadow but as soon as I uh, start just to pay attention to every sector of the face you know that the nose should be a little bit warmer or reddish and here you can add some greenish color okay and reddish color here you can use pink on a, or orange color what I'm trying to say that uh, at the beginning it's just like a drawing I mean because when we draw we don't use too much color we don't use color at all yeah? it's more of a value and that's what I'm doing right now okay that means I not complicate myself thinking about color right now I'm just more about the position of the eyes the nose and the mouth because if I got that okay, uh, I mean, I'm gonna get the likeness okay. Okay, let me see. Now I'm squinting down my eyes, I'm gonna pick up another brush. Again, I'm not thinking about color, you see the, how simple is this. Now I'm adding just white, just because I'm thinking about value. If you think about color, then you, you gotta be thinking about, okay, I have to add more yellow ochre because I wanna make this warmer, or maybe a different pencil because I wanna make this kind of cooler, or I don't know, whatever you want. I'm just adding more white because I'm just thinking about value, because I want to get the drawing okay first I'm squinting down my eyes Okay, that's better.
I'm saying that's better because I squint down my eyes and squint down my eyes watching the, the photo reference and I do the same here I kind of see the same I see the same here in the lights and the shadows that means that this is good okay let me see let me add the light here on the lower lip make this a little bit darker See, I'm trying to measure the width and the height for the ear. The ears kind of, uh, the bottom of the ears kind of aligned with the mouth. Mm, a little bit up. Let me see that. It's kind of aligned with the between the the nose and the lip. The ear is here. Now let's see this, this shape here. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to blend again. Oh, hi, Mary. asking me how you can you make sure that the new applied color is not mixed with the color painted before is this a dry brush technique uh, no I mean it's gonna get mixed uh, sometimes it depends on if uh, the pressure on or, or that you apply on your, your brush if you let's say I pick up this it's different if I do this if I do this okay now it's kind of a moving here and just here but here is a color that is gonna get mixed on top of the other it's like here this is dark eh? okay here I'm mixing both here but I'm keeping up this light color if I wanna just replace and pressure more and kind of take uh, the space of the darker color and I replace it with this lighter color I mean that's what I usually do I mean but mostly what I do is I lay down the, the a lighter value on top of a darker one and I mix both if I wanna then I wanna mix them more I just move the brush more like I'm, I'm gonna stay here like more time that means I'm mixing more okay, that's why when we blend it's kind of uh, we're getting a smooth surface but at the same time we are uh, kind of uh, uh, mixing everything and that's why when we blend we lost sometimes the contrast Yes, that's common. That com it's that common. Okay, it's just so common that you add shadow and light. You blend, and you don't see that bright 
light anymore and you don't see that dark shadow anymore and you have to add more again you have to paint the shadow again and the light again i mean that's normal for me i know that's that's what i'm going that's what is going to happen and of course i prepare to add more paint Cleaning out the brush. Hello, Crisalida. Thank you. Hello, Raisa Valley. What's the size of my canvas? It's like eight by eight inches. It is it's like a uh, 25 por 25 centimeters. cleaning the brush now the problem is when we blend if we over blend we're starting to losing more and more the difference between lights and shadows and at the end we we could end up with the painting uh, kind of flat without volume but every time that we blend we have to add more paint again okay now I have to go back to think about drawing just drawing okay and like I always do I prepare these two brushes like I'm thinking like there these were two pencils one dark one light and I'm going to uh, let me squint down my eyes let me see the lights are okay the shadows if I have if I have the lights and the shadows okay that means that the position of the eyes and the nose and the mouth is close to be okay too let me see okay now usually the uh, when we have the position of everything the features okay the problem could be about working here maybe I can make this eye too small or too big okay now we gotta pay attention to that and think that a common mistake is always go bigger with the eyes I mean that's it. it's just because we pay extra attention to the eyes always we gotta control that we ha have to try to control that okay Okay, I'm making these marks and I see a little bit more of the iris and the iris and I do this because I need to see the position of the iris I'm squinting down my eyes again okay I think the position is okay let's work on the nose brush okay here is okay let's go again to the lights I need to this is there's a light here there's a light here okay a little bit here ok 
okay, with the same brush I can have a different color just by pressuring more or less okay just here the same brush if I pre pressure really really soft I can make another value here okay which is different like what I did here now this is uh, it's not gonna work always because let's say the maybe you one day want to paint with really just really bold brush strokes with more paint and this, that that's gonna be different in that for that you need to mix more yes because you see here there are more values than here I here you just have one two three four values that means that I'm mixing here more and that's because I'm, I'm blending yeah? Okay, now when I think about color, about drawing, about the likeness and about all of that, that's, I mean, there's not a stop about that during the process. There's no, I have no reason right now to stop and try to look the likeness perfectly. I have to work on color and proportions, uh, everything at the same time. Okay. Let me see some questions. Uh, hello, Mir. Hello, Liliana. Thank you, she, you. Uh, she, you is telling me the only point I find now is the right eye is a little higher than the real position. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I have some mistakes. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about that. I mean, you know, there's still going to be a process about fixing mistakes. And I cannot be like uh, so overwhelmed about thinking all the things that I have, uh, have wrong at the beginning. Okay? I just, uh, it's about just moving things. Up and down, right, left. Let me look for a brush. Where's my brush? Oh, there it is. I'm squinting down my eyes and comparing. Okay, I think I'm doing okay. Okay, let me see. Well, uh, definitely I have to make maybe the eyes a little bigger. Okay, the nose smaller, the mouth a little bit up. Okay, I have to make this a little bit darker because there's too much light here. Okay. Now let's continue. It's like yeah, it's like uh, I'm checking out myself, my mistakes. It's like I'm on my own. What can I say, teacher? I point out my own mistakes, and I continue painting. I don't, I'm not gonna fix anything right now. I have to like kind of follow my my own plan, and that's gonna be now working the color. red and white a little bit of yellow girl a little bit of yellow girl okay
Okay, that's okay. Or not. Yeah. Maybe I need more on the logo. No, there's no way to clean out this. If you feel that you cannot, any of you feel that you cannot add more paint because it's difficult. The only way to do it is just pick up a pipe knife and take out the paint. The correct, correcting here is about just adding more paint. Like, I don't like this, maybe it's too pinky. I add yellow ochre to the mixture and I go on top of that. Okay. Now, obviously, if you have a lot of paint and you're kind of losing control of the color, yes, then that's going to be a good idea. Pick up your palette knife and, and just take out the color. Clean out and paint again that area. Because that's okay. I mean, you can, we can do anything we want. When I was a student, I, I used to pick up my palette knife and just clean out any area that I, I didn't like. Let me see. Okay. Okay, about the reddish areas of the face, they're going to be always the same chin, nose. Uh, sorry, cheek, chin, uh, chin, nose, and here, a little bit, there is always a little bit of pink here, really subtle, okay, and the upper and lower eyelid. It's going to be always a little bit reddish. Now, the other areas with a different color are, okay, you, you, can, you can add uh, black with uh, yellow ochre to gray green, or you just can add just white and black, just gray. I have a little bit of yellow ochre on this. There is also going to be a greenish area here, greenish or grayish, okay. And here is just the side, I mean, is the the eye socket is just here. You can touch it with your hand. In that area is a little bit grayer. Okay. There is another area that's kind of greenish here. Here is the bone, or we can touch the bone here, the nasal bone. Okay, and here is, uh, there's no bond, yeah? Okay. What other area could be greenish, grayish? All this area here, except this, okay? But I don't need to do anything. I already add, added this, added this pinky, reddish, and you see that in this reddish too, and this color here is kind of a grayish but if you feel that you i mean maybe your color is too orangey your, your skin is too orangey you can just mix here a greenish color that means adding more yellow ochre more black more white and paint here the same value of course i mean it's really subtle, I mean, really subtle. I mean, that color, that kind of uh, grayish or greenish exists in everybody. It's not just about the men because of the beard. It's not, it's not, it's everybody. It's, yeah, it's up to us just to make it really subtle, okay? But there is no way that all this area is gonna be uh, orangey or warmer because if the, if the whole face is warmer, orangey, I mean, how is it going to be possible for us to see the reddish colors on the face? Okay, now 
uh, I was thinking about color. That's what I did. Now I added the color. Now I gotta think about the drawing aspect of the painting again. Okay. I'm blending. I mean, I don't want uh, people to see some greenish or reddish colors. I want this to be subtle. Okay, now again, let's draw. This is like a dark brown color. It's not black black. Uh, I go darker just little by little because uh, I need to be sure about the drawing. Okay, let's work on this eye again. I think I have to uh, make this eye bigger. See the angle of the eyes. Okay, that's perfect. I mean, I'm speaking about not the, not the position of the eye. I'm not, I'm not sure is. It's perfect enough, speaking about the value here, the color. I mean, I don't want too much paint. I don't want this too dark because pretty sure I'm gonna come back here and correct again and again. Uy. Just one second. Oh, give me a second, please. Just one second, it looks like there is a problem here. I'm pretty sure maybe I have to, uh, I'm gonna end up just uh, finishing this maybe in another session. Not so sure, just give me a second please, I'll be back in five minutes.
I'm back. Okay, let's continue. Mm, I'm gonna add a little green zone here to paint the nose. Let me see. Okay, now the mouth. Okay, let me see. I'm making just this kind kind of a straight shadow because I need to first I'm placing I'm making more visible the position of the mouth, but I need to step back and see if that's okay. Okay. Uh, definitely, I uh, have to make the mouth bigger. Mm, but I think it's okay. Okay, let's make the mouth bigger, bigger. Let me see. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna make the mouth a little bit reddish, and I'm gonna try to give the make the shape because I just make something really straight here, and it's not like that. Okay, let's see. to make this soft okay that's okay I'm gonna paint a little bit more of the hair
and just mixing I mean it's just the only colors I have here it's just always about mixing red red and yellow ochre and black there is no more maybe I will add uh, blue I mean it's not uh, uh, something that I I just prefer to use always a limited palette I love a limited palette but it's not like I have to I mean sometimes I start with a lim limited palette I end up with more colors see this area here I still feel I need to make the eyes a little bigger. Oh, okay, let's continue working. I check out a little bit the mistakes and I continue painting. Okay, every time I continue with the process, uh, I, I fix things here and things there. Let's work on the eyes again. Now I'm gonna make I'm gonna work with a darker color, almost black. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Remember, don't make this dark all the way to the tear duck, the tear, tear duck. Okay, the, and the tear duck is the color is reddish and it's a little bit lighter. It's not black. Now I see more of the face and I'm going to be able to see the differences. Okay. First I didn't see that much, it was kind of a ghosty image. Okay. The color is different from the photo, 
you know what I like uh, I, 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 I like more my color this pinky color I think is is better I think it looks better with the, the pinky color but let's see I mean I'm not saying that I'm gonna keep it you know during the process uh, we, we used to make a lot of changes sometimes those changes are not in purpose sometimes it just because we are mixing so many colors and we add in adding more colors on top on top of and after a few minutes maybe we realize that we kind of change the color that we had we, we, we had before Let's continue working. Let's, let's see the brow here, the eyebrows. I didn't paint the uh, eyebrows. Okay, let's work on the lights again. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. I'm stepping back. Mm, okay, okay, everything looks okay. I love it. You know, we have to uh, share how do you say cheer up ourselves yeah? I love it I think it's perfect I don't care about what you think <laughs> okay let's add more lights I'm squinting down my eyes. Uh, the lightest light is here. You can add pure white. It's not gonna stay pure white, obviously, because everything is wet here. You see, it was pure white. It doesn't look like pure white anymore. That means that I have to add more paint again. By adding just white, I'm making this light neutral. Neutral, it means it's no warm, okay? It's no cool. It's kind of a grayish light. 
Now sometimes I I choose to make these lights warm. Uh, I mean, uh, I add a little bit of yellow ochre with white, and I make these lights warmer. And I add some cool colors to the shadow. Not that much. I mean, remember there's no there is not like uh, that rule. Uh, when you uh, we we start to learn about color theory, it's always about if the lights are warm, the shadows are cool. Okay, it's just the beginning of the color theory. I, I'm saying this because I have seen so many times people that uh, when I start adding warmer colors on the shadows, they say, I mean, why? I mean, the shadows should be cool. No, if the light is warm, there is, exists what we call the reflected light. That means that the shadow is going to be cool and warm. And if the light is warmer, the shadow is going to be warmer with these cool colors there. Okay. And at the same time, we got to think about what is around the, the person because the light can is bounce everywhere. comments I love the perspective from the camera view okay thank you where Mary uh, Anna Malo I think that the eyebrow are a little different oh yes yes I was working on that thank you Monique Christina okay hello Miriam Okay, looks like I love my granddaughter. Okay, okay, Miriam, this painting is for you. Thank you so much. It's is so adorable, the painting that will turn out better than the photo. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, what are you saying? Uh, I have to work on the iris. You know that it's not even round. But that's okay. And, and, and now I have to. I kind of I got lost. Oh, I was working on the light. Okay. More white. She has kind of a gesture, like she was uh, mad, I think, maybe a little bit here. Hmm. Okay, if I add more white, more white, more white, what is gonna happen? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start making this this uh, light cool. Okay, that happens when you add too much white to a color. Like I said, I'm adding pure white, but I'm mixing here. And at the end, if I don't like this color, since we are painting a la prima. I'm painting a la prima, I can add more paint on top of this and change this. Remember, I mean, uh, we make corrections by adding more paint and mixing the paint here, here and there. I mean, the painting, yeah. <laughs>
another thing when you add the lights or the highlights you cannot add the same highlights everywhere I mean the same intensity you have to choose there is always uh, the highlight on the face is going to be commonly on the nose and uh, let's see here forehead cheek and nose not always okay because it depends on the direction of uh, it depends on where is where is coming the light source where is the light source usually it's up but what is it if it's down that change everything Now I think kind of uh, I, uh, I have lost a little bit of the reddish colors on the face. I see a little bit, you see a little bit of pinky. If that happens, that means that I need to add more. First I need to work on the nose. Okay. Okay, the eyes are the sort of a painting. Oh, hello, Christian. Dita, she looks now a little older than the picture. No, my God! <laughs> yeah, that's a common mistake. I always do that. I make people older. <laughs> but no problem. I mean, uh, as soon as I, I, I'm gonna blend again, and I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make hair younger again. By the way, that's something difficult when we paint kits. Usually, that's a problem. We paint kits, and just the kit, it could be a girl, a boy, it looks like always a little bit older. I'm making the nose a little bit warmer I don't know if you realize I'm making the nose more reddish, more orangey I'm trying to create some transparency here in the color Okay, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get this with two or, or three brush strokes I have to go back and forth until I get what I want better but I still need to add more light this reflected light I need to add more of this okay now let's see the values I need to light up here okay I'm picking up this color and I put it on top of this And then I'm blending.
I gotta be careful now because I'll, I'll make it more detailed. Uh, I keep squinting down my eyes. I keep checking uh, the position of the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Okay. It's always about that. I mean, the position of the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and then. When you th think, feel, feel that that's okay, then uh, you work on the size. I mean, the, the eyes could be smaller or bigger. The nose, the same, could be smaller or bigger. Okay, you see that I have started with the mouth small. Now I'm making the mouth bigger, just little by little. Okay. Okay. Now, again, let's work on the eyes again. Now I'm gonna. Uh, now I can use uh, almost black. Okay, a little bit of a different crimson. Okay, I still feel this eye. Maybe it's a little bit up. Mm, not so sure because I'm just checking the distance. Maybe it's it's just about the shadow being here, and the lower eyelid, here in the eye bag. Maybe it's that. Maybe I have to open more the lower eyelid, more curve. You see here, there is nothing here, there is just a shadow. Need to work on that. Okay. Okay, let's work on the eye. Let's work on the pupil first. Okay, I know the color is uh, green. She has green eyes. I'm gonna add blue at the end. Okay, I need to make this eye bigger, more round. of the eyes holding my breath
रखनी है I think I need to close this eye or move this. The upper eyelid a little bit. No. Okay, I need to work in this work in this area. Okay, okay. Okay. Just okay, I'm gonna add more a darker color here. But I have to reduce the chin. Ah, oh, the chin is too much. Yes, yes. Okay. I mean the forehead. I mean I still work on the forehead, but. I, I think I need to start working to be able to see the whole face. Okay, now let's work on the. I want to make a little bit darker the nose and the mouth. Maybe not as dark as the photo because you know I, I, I like mostly to keep some softness on the face. I don't think I'm gonna make this color more darker than that. Okay. I'm soft. Okay, again. Okay. I'm mixing just black with a laser and crimson. And now let's see here.
Okay, below the, the lower lip, I usually use a, a color that it could be kind of greenish, a darker greenish. And I use the color because I want to create contrast between this color and the pinky color on the lip. Okay, this color. But okay, it's, it's not gonna be like a huge difference. Yeah, because if I mean, since this is dark, it's, cre it's creating contrast. Okay, even if I use this darker red, I mean that's gonna be okay. to let you know what I do okay I'm reducing the size of the chin okay now remember there is always a bump here a little bit here that's because of the anatomy of the face that's because of the muscles a process of painting and correcting I mean obviously from the beginning it was almost nothing it was almost a ghost ghosty image now that I see more I'm able to correct more and let's see white Better. Not perfect, but that's better. I'm gonna check out the comments in a minute.
Okay, I love the color in the mouth. Yes, I love it. Uh, that's what I want. This dark but transparent. Okay, which is different in the, in when you see a photograph. When you see a photography, is dark. Well, this. I mean, that's what I think. Yes, that's what I see. I see something dark and hard. I want to see something dark but soft. Okay. And how do you get that? Just by making your shadows um, darker. But you see something here? This is a dark that is more saturated. That means it's, you feel the red, the dark red, which is different when you, it's a dark. The, the photograph is just a dark, a dark like it could be a gray, a greenish dark. It doesn't have more saturation. It's just value. Okay, and in painting, uh, we have the advantage that we can change the saturation. area I was making this shadow here and I was worried that maybe the, the shadow is gonna make hair look older okay Something is not okay in the mouth. Okay, I'm gonna check out again. Okay, I think that's time for, for working the hair and the, the, the eyes, the color of the eyes. Okay. Uh, I still, um, obviously, uh, I have this, this too dark here, I'm going to fix it in a minute. Okay, I have to make this area a little bit darker. Okay, for that I can, where's my brush? Can pick up this color here and move it here. Okay. Now in a minute I'm gonna make this area a little bit darker. Okay, and fix that. Now I have to work in this area because this is what I wanted to make this darker. But I mean, I have to. It's not gonna be perfect just at, just like that. Yeah? We have to adjust here. And I think maybe I have to reduce. I think uh, she has some kind of curve here, curve, yeah? something like that. Let's see. Just give me a second. Mm. 
you see here kind of something like this really subtle yeah. and here too really subtle No, no, I think maybe I have to correct here the width of the face. Yes, her face is kind of pointy. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, you gotta think. Sometimes so, there are some things that are because of the shadow. Uh, pretty sure if I make this shadow darker. It's gonna look like more uh, narrow. I gotta think about that. No, no. I'm gonna blend here. I blend, I clean out my brush, and I blend again. Let me step back and take a rest from the image. The top lip is a bit flatter. Okay, I'm gonna work on that. Uh, okay. Michael is saying, remember that Dita has painted two children this month. Okay. Ilon, I, Ilona, thank you. Thank you, Persalida. <laughs> okay. The left eye, I think, is the problem. Okay, I'm gonna check on that. here and then later I'm gonna continue working on the values I need to make the shadows a little bit darker I'm gonna pick up this brush this color is okay let's see
here and I leave it there for now, the, the, the hair. I'll be back in a minute. I have to work on the face. Now let's see the shadow on the face. Let's see if that value is okay. Uh, another thing, maybe if the mm, here. Careful. I better be careful. Okay, I think it should be even a little bit darker here, a little bit darker here. I'm mixing yellow ochre, a little bit of black. Shadow. There is more shadow uh, here, so it'll be darker. But I don't think I'm gonna go darker on the nose. Okay, here. Yes, I can make it this darker here. Okay, let's let's see this. adding a little bit of yellow ochre this is kind of a brownish let's say that it has a little bit it's brown with a little bit of green okay. and adding that color because uh, I need to add some red here and I need to see the difference between this and th this color Okay, and here the same. You know, is this too reddish? You have to just mix more paint and put on top of that. If maybe it's too light, the same. I mean, that's the way to correct. Just that's the way to make corrections. Again and again. This color, no, this color is better, I think. Well, it's too light from here. Let's make this a little bit darker. That means that I'm gonna add this pink here. Okay. 
I can relate to. Uh, the the value. I'm gonna blend again. Oh, one little thing. I need this dark black yellow ochre. I think this has to but you see the forehead is too bright. much I need this to be lighter here have to be lighter okay and here okay you squint down your eyes you wanna see that this is lighter than this okay It is just like that. You have to adjust here values, make things a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. That's the process. There's no other way to do it. Okay. Okay, let's blend. Now what's gonna happen when you blend? We're gonna lost a little bit of the contrast. Now let's blend really carefully. If you blend in the light, try not to go onto the shadow. You should stay there, just enough to create a transition. That's it. Then clean out your brush or use another brush. If you have a couple of brushes, better one brush for blending the light and the other for the shadows. Using paper towel to do this. Okay, okay I'm gonna change. I'm gonna use this brush, it's bigger. Really soft, okay. Don't pressure at all. Okay, clean out the brush and now the shadow. change uh, and I'm using this to brush it because let's say that this is bigger uh, because it's just the, the, the hair is just more open and this is smaller for example I can use this one here ok 
Okay. correction here. Okay, for the forehead, I change to this brush. Now, uh, right now that's going to be difficult to adjust more and more and more. What I do is uh, use the brushes for blending to make the adjust adjustments. Let's say that I want to make this darker. I'm going to pick up this brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of darker color just on the tip of the brush, okay? And I'm going to do this. It's like blending and changing the value at the same time. Okay, maybe I'm gonna do this on the light. I'll pick up just the tip of the brush. Okay, I'm blending and I'm changing the value. Okay, if this is not enough, then you have to pick up more paint and add a brush stroke. Because, I mean, this is just for subtle changes. You're not gonna change something very dramatically just by adding almost nothing of paint okay I mean I'm not picking up a lot of paint that's, that's not gonna work Just little by little I'm blending and at the same time changing the value okay Here I have a problem, the same, maybe I want to move this, I'm going to just move it and blend at the same time. I'm blending and at the same time I'm moving the paint, the darker color. Okay. Here the same, I'm going to pick up a little bit of this, I put it here. Imagine that you're just blending, but at the same time you're changing the value a little bit. That's enough? I don't think so. I think I have to reduce this area a little bit more. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna pick up another brush and I'm going to do that just little by little, okay? I'm kind of a, a blending, more than blending, softening the edge and at the same time moving this more close to the face. I mean, and narrow, narrowing the face and changing the width of the face. And at the same at the same time trying to keep the, the edge soft or lost. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I think that's better. I'm gonna use this one and go on top of this. That's it. Now the chin is kind of lost. You know what? I love the chin that like that. I know and I'm not saying that I'm gonna leave it like that because I just love it. But I think I'm just trying to just copy the chin just like the way you're using the, the image. Mm, let me think. I don't know. I don't know. Let me let me do a little bit of this light here. the neck okay. Okay, I'm squinting down my eyes again because I want to see values. The values are okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I still, I think I need to reduce the nose. Uh, okay, I need to work on the lip. I remember Dita told me that the uh, upper lip was kind of flat. Okay, I need to add more light here in the middle. Let me see. Okay, this is darker and kind of falling.
Okay, I need to work on the ice. I'm gonna add blue. A little bit of cobalt blue. Just a little bit of cobalt blue. Okay, more cobalt blue. I'm gonna put it here. Comments. Uh, oh, okay. I have a question here. I don't know how to say your name. Sorry, and Rob. How do you do it? How many years have you been drawing? Okay, I've been drawing for and painting for thirty years. Yeah. 30 years. Mm. Yeah, and I have a question. How do you instantly know which colors you make? You must mix to match the photo color. Uh, it's not exactly about matching the photo color. It's not matching the, the, the photo reference. You see, the color is not, no, it's not that close. Uh, I, I basically uh, kind of use, let's say, a pre pre mixed skin color. I always, if you check out more videos, you're gonna realize that in all my videos I start with the same orangey grayish color. Okay, and I start just by mixing two values: one light, one dark, and from there I develop the skin color. But it's not like I'm trying to match the photo. Okay, no. If I if I was trying to match uh, the photo, that would be different. That would be for me mixing more here on the palette and trying to be really careful mixing a lot, a lot, a lot. I would spend a lot of time mixing in order to get the color right. Okay. Was too much, eh? and then I will apply the color on the canvas. I mean, I, I don't do that, I just start always with the same, let's say, let's say, formula. And from there, I try to uh, maybe to get a better idea. I would recommend you to see. I have some videos, like two or three videos, where I live streams like this, where I paint from a black and white image. Okay, that means that I mean I'm not copying the skin color. And I mean, basically, I gotta say that maybe like eighty percent of painters, portrait painters, or uh, have already the skin color in. I mean, already almost prepared in in their mind, in their memory. Okay. And when when you have uh, something like that already prepared. From there, you, you're trying to get close to what you see. I mean, in terms of making the skin color uh, darker, lighter skin color, reddish, uh, grayish, whatever you want. But if you don't have that, some kind of recipe or formula, that means that it's something that you go blind, like uh, to, uh, not to get into 
some, let's say, to some home city that you don't know anything about. And that's going to take you a lot. And we, when we have a kind of formula, or recipe, that makes things easier. Yes, because it's, it's not anymore about matching exactly the color that you see in the photo reference. It's more about following the recipe. Okay, F uh, using the colors that you already know that are going to work or are going to take you really close to the skin color without, I mean, without, with, uh, you don't need all the effort about mixing and mixing and spending more, maybe an hour, two hours mixing the colors to try to get the colors right. But, but if you want to do that, that's okay. I mean, everything is okay in painting. There is no right or wrong. It's just what we uh, love to do and that's it. And what, I, what, what I'm doing uh, here in my live stream is just showing you my recipe or my, for, my formula. And then you see that in every video because I repeat the same. It's kind of boring, but that's what works for me. And tell you this, that there is a recipe. I mean, it's not going to make you instantly get the colorful right. Yeah. It's not going to make you that because you have the recipe but you have to know the next steps when you paint. And it, if it's that not enough, you have to get maybe the most important about painting a portrait. Uh, that is the proportions of the face, okay? And I mean, not, no, not, not have one eye up up and the other eye down and that's a common mistake I mean it doesn't matter how much time you paint if I go back on my paintings I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find out that some faces are off and eh, that's normal that's okay I mean uh, I used to tell to myself about my mistakes that that's okay. It's something like I say to myself, that's okay. You just have painted for a couple of hours, three hours. That's okay. The perfect okay to make a mistake. And I say, okay, that's right. <laughs> it's kind of uh, like somebody telling a kid, that's okay that you make something wrong. But that's okay, if you want to practice and paint a la prima, that's okay to have mistakes, that's not a problem at all. The point is just paint. The point is have a plan. Because painting is like, uh, for me, it's like playing chess. You have to know what's going to be your next move. And every time that you paint, you kind of prepare for the next move. Okay, you, ha you gotta know if you have started the painting too dark. Obviously, you're going to add more lighter colors. If the painting is too light, you're going to add darker colors. And you have to deal with that. Like that's no, that's, I mean, the only word for that is experience. Yeah? Experience, that means that I mean, you have done that so many times and that you already know what is going to happen. Now I'm working on this, this, the eyes. I realize that I have to move the pupil of this eye. Oh, I gotta make a, um, an ad. <laughs> I have a Patreon account. If you wanna paint with me, like painting t together, uh, I have uh, we paint every Saturday 
just for four dollars I use soon that means that I paint you paint and I can see you painting and make your critique and we paint still lives Saturday and then Wednesday every Wednesday we paint we make like a studies of the face like anatomy or paint the eyes the nose okay 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 and Sundays we paint for every Sunday for four hours okay just up to ten people okay you gotta zoom in the photo in order to see these details maybe I'm not gonna add too much eyelashes because I think that makes her a little bit older just a little bit eh? I think that's enough. I love it. <laughs> you gotta be careful not to make uh, hair older. That usually happens. Dennis, hello. I have recently started losing motivation to draw. I really like drawing, but every time I start to draw, I can't finish and I end up throw it, throwing it away. Do you have an advice? Any advice? Okay. Mm. To be honest, I, I don't know your background. What do you? I mean, uh, that's drawing is like uh, like you do you did like all the time something like that. I mean, like weekly, daily. I don't know. I mean, this thing about uh, losing motivation uh, that could happen to anyone. Yes, I mean. Sometimes that happens to me, and this is my work, yes? This is my work. This is something that I have to do like eight hours a day, like any work, like any job, yeah? And sometimes because I don't have a, a boss, I don't have nobody to tell me when to work or not to work. Sometimes, sometimes I have lost mo motivation and I haven't painted or drawing for a week. Yes, that's my top, I mean, a week, that's my limit. Because, I mean, you know, my, my income, everything is about this. And that means that I cannot uh, stop. But, I don't know, maybe changing the subject. 
the paint is quite to draw and yeah, maybe changing that maybe changing the medium maybe if you use uh, charcoal let's say use wet charcoal or use ink Maybe follow somebody drawing, like paint a draw along with some video. I don't know. This thing about motivation is just like uh, these days now because of the pandemic is kind of common. Yes, I mean for me some days I I, I just wake wake up like feeling like oh my god today I don't want to do anything, and what I do is I look for. Some, some video, motivational video on YouTube. I play that, I listen to that for, I don't know, a half hour or sometimes an hour. And kind of I feel okay, I feel better. I'm gonna start working again. But that's okay, yes, these days it's just like that. I mean, we're uh, here, here in my country, we, uh, I don't go out that much. I just I just go out like twenty minutes a day to buy some groceries or to go to the mail to to send some send some paintings that but I don't go usually I try to go like uh when I have to send like three, four, five, then I go. To not going again and again. But that this thing about being just at home the whole day is kind of uh, I don't know. It's kind of sad. It's really. I spend my day just drawing, painting, and watching TV. <laughs> uh, and I I I, uh, I always watch comic movies. Yeah, I need to laugh. I remember once I told my dad something like that and my dad told me what? <laughs> you gotta start start drawing or painting, that's it. That's it. As soon as you start you're gonna see that you're gonna get like in the mood. In the mood you're gonna get involved involved in that and that's it. Sometimes I, I have done that. Like I don't feel like doing that, like painting, and I start just doing, and I just get there, like trap, like a rat. <laughs> okay, let me see. I was thinking about the shadow here. I think that's okay. Like I said, I don't want those dark shadows, like in the photo reference. Yes. Okay. What is about the rest of the painting? Again, I can make this dark, 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 and, and soft here, lost here, and dark and dark here. Or just choose one here. Definitely I'm gonna make this uh, blur. Yeah. Maybe I can add another color, like in the photo, yes, there is some blue here, dark blue. Blue is always, it's a color that it always is okay with the skin color. Uh, obviously, not, not speaking about like a cerulean blue, uh, kind of a grayish, bluish color. Sometimes I, I have added pure ultramarine blue, sometimes, I mean, it depends. I only need to work on the ear. Okay, let's 
let's work on the ear. the comments okay hello Karen hello Sherry maybe you can say music yes music is amazing yeah. thank you Victoria and maybe you can say love, 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 her. love is so good for our health yes I've been watching lately the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> my kids see just they are just oh my god the music because that's the music the music that the intro music is like they are ge getting crazy oh my god again it's been like I don't know how much th how much three four months like every day <laughs> it's so funny. Or I was watching. Uh, in YouTube because I don't know where to find it. Married with children. I love that. No, I mean after watching the news I have to look for something to make me laugh because I mean well What do you think, Miriam? Do you like the painting? For the hair, I usually use a, a greenish color, kind of brown, greenish, mixing black and yellow ochre, a little bit of the red. Oh, you love it? Okay, you love the paint, that's good. That's an oldie married with children, yeah. <laughs>
not some blue, okay? It's a little bit of color. Some pure black. I'm gonna put some pure black here. I just wanna get some accent. I'm thinking that maybe the white of the eyes is too light. Yeah, I'm thinking that. I'm going to darken this a little bit. that I need to add more shadow here make this a little bit darker okay. I need uh, the accents and need more black pure black at least I need this to be dark in here just some touches of really dark dark Take a little bit of paint from here because I want this to area to be really dark, and I don't want the color just to get mixed here. It's, it's the same with when, when I add uh, white, I add white on the light area, and it's, it's not white, I mean, get mixed. It's the same with black, but I really want this. be really really dark one little thing I was I need to move this okay now 
let's mix blood with alizarin crimson and let's put it Doesn't look really black, yeah. I think that's because of the glitter. Maybe it's me, my camera. Let me check out the setups. I don't see this black, black. I should be seeing this really black. That's going to be an accent. The other accent could be here. And the other accent here. a little bit here A little bit of yellow here, down here. see oh, okay thank you thank you thank you I hear big pun is really fun yes hello Dennis I think you should enlarge the bottom lip a bit okay uh, more light on the left side of the of her bottom lip okay okay I'm gonna check on that okay let me see Okay, 
I'm making this dark, but I don't want this really dark, dark. Just a little bit. Okay, I already established my accents here and here. Maybe I can add some yellow here, some accent, let's see, let's think about that, let's work on the, the mouth. Here it looks kind of flat. I have to make it dark. I have to darken this to make more spherical here. The same here. Okay, what is
Uh, I need to work on the gene, I think. Mm. Yes, keep him. Uh, the chain is too big. Okay, okay. Okay, now the, the hair again. I need an old, really old brush. This one. This one is kind of stiff. It's worked perfectly. Yeah. I added a, a medium. Okay, let's see. Let's add some. some touches like this I'm not gonna be able to make a lot of details Getting to the end. Hmm. Let me see the comments. I think you should should uh is yes, the white dot missing in the left eye. Oh yes, I just did it. It is so big. Oh, I did it that too. Alida Art, okay, hello, hello Alida. Hmm. 
Okay, I think that's it. I mean, I'm checking out here and there, but obviously there are more things to do, but I think that's enough. Yeah? Another little bit of cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow hue, just a little bit. That's it. What do you think, Miriam? Do you still like it? I was thinking to add maybe some yellowish light on top of the hair. I'm not so sure. Maybe that changed too much. I'm definitely gonna add more contrast, but maybe that's too much. Okay, let's see, I think if everything's okay, there's this something that maybe, maybe I need to add more volume to the forehead, I have to be careful with that, you know, uh, if you see the image, you see the light is a more uh, lightest here, but I think 
maybe my, the forehead is a kind of kind of flat a little bit of light just that I love the painting, uh, the likeness is not 100% there, but I think I'd get uh, it's close enough. Uh, no, I still feel that this eye needs something that is not okay about this eye. Maybe make this more round, the iris. I'm just adding more, uh, making, trying to make the more, uh, more contrast here on the eyes. Just that I mean, I know that something is, it's not perfect. I mean, the likeness is kind of, kind of is there, and at the same time, it's not. I'm not, I'm not able to, to tell what is wrong, where is the mistake. It could be maybe the size of the eyes. Okay. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. But I'm really happy with the painting because the color is okay. I love the color. I love the, the volume. The values are okay. I mean, there's always going to be some details that I'm not going to be able to see. Like everything, when we paint after a couple of hours that we don't see anymore. I mean, we don't see details, we don't see things that we sh maybe should fix. And sometimes we spend too, too much time in one area. For example, I haven't worked here too much now I realize that because I've been working around the eyes a lot okay it shouldn't be like that we have to spend the same amount of time all over the portrait Maybe this shadow what in it or maybe this shadow here.
Okay, let's see the comments. Mm. Uh, perhaps her sweater is less orange. So blue on the left hand side. Hand side. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not blue. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, the sweater. Yeah, there are some blue, yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna paint that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's more more it's more blonde. That's what I added a little bit of yellow, but I think I maybe I need to add more yellow. Not so sure about that. As you know that I, I spend a lot of time on the face and then But definitely maybe a glaze of yellow uh, is gonna make the hair better. Because I feel that the hair is kind of opaque. Yes, and I at the same time uh, that's kind of easier to fix just with a glaze, a orange or a yellow glaze. Gonna change the color immediately. How do you know when, when to stop? Clue blonde is asking me. Uh, usually on, on the stop. I mean, that, like like finish up the painting. That's so difficult to say, but I stop. Uh, I put my my own time like two or three hours top, uh, and if I get bored, <laughs> if I start to get boring of painting, I just stop. Yeah. Okay, let's see. The shadows are okay. Mm. The likeness is kind of close, values are okay. Yeah, I think I think it's the year the year is on. I always leave the year. I need more. I need more volume. The year is kind of flat. I don't like to paint ears when I paint a la prima because I mean uh, there is I, I, it's like I feel I need more time for checking out the face you know the ear if I was painting like uh, in three four six se sessions definitely I would I, I would spend more time working on the ear trying to make it perfect Okay, the mouth, the edges are okay, nothing is like sharp, the only sharp here is here a little bit, here is so lost, the mouth is a little bit sharp, here, and here is kind of lost, I can lost here a little bit. Okay, the nostrils are okay, the color in the nose is okay, I feel some reddish here and here and here, which I think is okay, the eyes that's the problem that I have. I don't know exactly if the eyes are okay. I feel like I should move this eye or close or make make me make like this eye more sleepy. But I'm not so sure about that. A little bit to see what happened. Mm, I don't think that changed that much. Just to put it back. Maybe more eyelashes, like she has big eyelashes, but I don't want to make that because I'm afraid to make her older in the painting. Okay, the forehead, maybe I have to reduce the forehead. I'm just thinking out loud right now and going making a revision a review on my own painting checking out everything about the color the more values okay and for example i think here i gotta make i gotta move this make this shadow more curved and more lost
Okay, I think that's better. Okay. More light here. Okay, she has kind of an expression kind of mad. She was kind of mad. I don't know, I feel something like it's, it's between here and here. Oh, this shadow, maybe a little bit darker here. Let's make this a little bit darker. Up, 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 up. Yeah, I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, let me soft this here, this edge. I want this soft. And the neck. Okay. This is kind of lost, soft. And this is sharp. Okay. I can make this even a little bit sharper. Here. Okay. The idea if you make something lost and something sharp, obviously is to create the illusion that this that is sharp is just pumping forward. Yeah. I'm going to soften here just a little bit. I want this sharper, not not like not like not like that. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now the uh, there is darker here, but I don't think I'm gonna make it that dark now. Not dark. I don't want that dark there. I think it's okay soft here, the shadow soft. Okay, I'm, I'm taking I'm making some decisions thinking about making the painting better. I mean the painting making the painting better for me is yes, you know that every everybody has he, 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 their own taste and we work on uh, thinking about that. Okay, I think that's okay. Oh, Monique already saw C. Long's and already questions. Okay, so. How do we contact you? Oh, you can write me to my email or my Patreon account. I'm gonna leave my email here. Okay, the comments. Okay, what is, do you know Fabriano Milani? Oh, I think, I think, I think so. I think so. That's the same name, Fabriano, the, the paper, yeah? I think so, that's... Oh, to be honest, I mean, there are so many art, artists and kind of difficult to to, to... to say, but definitely, the, I mean, that name uh, ring a bear in my head. <laughs> Perhaps the white of the eyes has a bit more grayish blue. Yes, 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 I think. I'm gonna add that with a, a glaze, okay? Because I'm not gonna be able to change, I mean, the whole white of the, the eye and make it bluish. Oh, one thing I, I, I'm gonna do, thinking about the eye. I'm gonna make this a little bit reddish. Like a dark red. We need a photorealistic painting to watch. You need a photorealistic painting to watch. Okay. Hello, Linda. Okay. 
Oh, Fabriano Milani, I think that's a, a paralytic painter, yes? I think, yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember him, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I knew it. I knew that's the guy he paints, like, with amazingly details, like, like a photograph, yeah? Like photography, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I knew, I knew that, I, 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 uh, I knew that name. Yeah, he's very famous, I have seen a, a lot of uh, his paintings. That's amazing, 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 yes. Okay, I gotta go. I don't know if it's, you, you can. Can you hear me? Because I think I have lost the connection. Okay, I gotta go, bye, take care. This, the, what happened is some, something happened here on my computer. I don't see my screen anymore. It says here, here an error occurred. Please try again later. Okay, I gotta go anyway. I'm finished. Okay. Take care. I was saying that I remembered Fabriano. Fabiano, sorry. <laughs> Fabiano, and I admired him a lot. He's amazing. Yes. Yes. I don't paint for the reason. I just, that would be too much. I mean, I, to be honest, that's too much work. I don't work, I don't want to work that hard. <laughs> I'm okay doing what I do. <laughs> okay thank you so much take care bye I don't, want, I don't want to work that hard. I don't think I, I, I'm going to be able to make that, that kind of paintings. I mean, that's just, that's just another level. Bye, take care.